Hi Year 9, uh, Year 9s. In this video we're looking at drawing and interpreting dot plots. So we've got a list of temperatures here taken from throughout New Zealand on um, a day of November and those are all the temperatures. So this is asking us to draw a dot plot. So it says draw a line and mark in a scale starting at 14 and then ending at 25. Then use the data to produce a dot plot of these temperatures. So I think I'll go with um, my squares being the markers of my um, dots and uh, I'll just draw a, a scale for that. So um, I'll draw it down here. So that's, uh, let's see, 14, we'll just start 14 there. So that'll be 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. I'll go a little bit more just so I've definitely got enough room for that. And then we'll mark off our temperatures and I'll zoom in a bit here. So we'll make this one 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 and 26. Okay so there's my um, scale put in and now we want to mark off these temperatures. So what we do for each temperature that we come across is we make a dot um, above that. So I'll make my first dot about halfway up there um, and we'll cross it off. Next one's 17. So let me put that dot in. My pen will work for me. There we go. So that's 17. Next one's 20. 25 is the next. 19 after that. And then another 19. So now I've got my second one, I'm going to put that um, halfway up again, okay? So then we've got 14, so 14, halfway, uh, 18, and 24. Actually, I might just move all of this up so I don't have to keep on doing that. There we go. Okay, so we're up to 17. That's the second 17 that we've had. So that will go there. 19, 20, another 20, 17, 24, second 24, 22, 24, so hopefully you're starting to see now, I'm just going up by half a square each time I get another one, 19, 15, 17, it was a very popular temperature on that day, I should say common. 23, oh, that's a bit big, 23, 20, and 18. Okay, and so what this graph lets us see is sort of a distribution of our um, data, and that's the purpose of having a dot plot. Now, um, as with all graphs, um, this dot plot needs to have labels and a title. So um, temperatures on an NZ November day. So that's our title. And we also need to um, say what the numbers mean. So label our axis. So these are degrees in centigrade. Okay, so um, yeah, a dot plot is, is quite an important skill to be able to do. It shows us the shape of the data um, and really I need you to practice them so that you you can do them uh, you know really well. Just make sure that you set a scale that is consistent um, both with your x uh, axis here and whatever um, thing that you're going up in your dots with make sure it's consistent. So I've chosen half a square 
um, to go up in my dots. If you've got big squares, you might be able to fit four dots in a square, um, but just make sure it's consistent. So please uh, go on exercise 31.02 where you can practice some of these dot plots.